Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Annalisa from Creative Curious Learning and Living. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a cleaning and decorating for Christmas marathon. You're going to be seeing the videos from last year, which was 2022. I decorated in my living room, dining room. I decorated the living room with a kid's play area, Christmas themed and in my kitchen. So I'm going to be sharing all of those videos in one video to give you lots and lots of cleaning motivation in one spot. And you can definitely go check out the videos individually. And I was pregnant with this little guy in those videos and now he's here and we're getting really excited to decorate for Christmas this year and have it be his first Christmas. And so this is just a video to give you ideas for your decorating needs this year. So until we start decorating for Christmas over here this year, this is a fun way to get into the Christmas spirit and get some ideas along the way so that you can start decorating for Christmas too in the coming months. And you can turn this on, get cleaning and get decorating and have some fun. Okay, so our tree is up and then I need to go ahead and clean this table because all of the decor that I will most likely be using in different parts of this room is over here because I did not want the bins, the Christmas bins to sit out. So I'm going to clean off my table and then put all of this here and there's a few more bigger pieces that I need to pull out as well. And I'm gonna sit them here and I'm gonna clean down this area and then I'm going to take all of this off and add Christmas decor and of course our fall books are still up so we need to go ahead and go through this and pull our Christmas books and then we will not be decorating the Christmas tree because it is my kiddos a job and or art project to decorate this for us so that is that um i'm going to be decorating right here mainly and then i'm going to be using some of these pieces for the homeschool table over by our craft area just off the living room and like these are pillow covers for our couch and stuff but yeah so i'm going to put this all over here and then get to decorating <laughs> cleaned off I just put the cushion covers here for now and then this is all of the decor that I'm working with some of it is gonna go over here these little white trees go to my craft room it's like a little bit of Christmas in there and then these gingerbread lights are going to hopefully go up here on our garland and um, yeah, all of these trees have a place and then in here is just a few different ornaments and these are like little centerpiece things, but I like to use them as filler. So we will see how this goes. I am going to go ahead and wipe that area down and then clean off that space and then get a decorating.
Now I'm just decorating the area off of our dining room which has our Canadian map and I opted to keep this there and I'm just playing around with a different decor pieces. Didn't really know where I wanted this area to go and those little white houses my boys are going to paint and decorate and make into gingerbread houses. I really like them wooden but yeah then adding the details to the tree I'm going to decorate them with these garlands. The gingerbread men are actually wine toppers I picked them up at Dollarama a few years ago and they haven't brought them back but if they ever bring them back in might have to pick up a few more but yes and then just adding a few simple details to the trees and then I will add in the pink and then I do add in a white garland later you will see that at the end and I add a little bit of detail to the Canadian map that is Christmassy that you will see at the end and just finishing up this area figuring out how to complete this space this is like the one area I wasn't really sure because I hadn't decorated this space for Christmas yet I had decorated the front entrance for Christmas with this theme but not this area so it's playing around with all of the decor. Okay, so this is what is left on the table. This was the wreath that was still on the door. I'm going to put that up over here and I need to put the globe away and get these away, but I need to find the boxes for those. And then this rest of this stuff is either gonna go away or it's gonna go on the homeschool table. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the books and continue clearing off the table. Let's go ahead and tackle these fall books and give this shelf a good clean. I'm going to put them off to the side on my table so that I can get them put away here in a little bit. This shelf actually my husband made from a palette from his work. He sanded it down so it was a lot smoother and just prettier and then we had these white little shelf pieces from another organizer that we had taken apart. They were perfect for this. We screwed them on and this is a perfect place to display our books all throughout the year and the palette fits this space on our wall perfectly. Just I love how it looks with all of the different books on it. So yeah, just giving it a deep clean, getting that dust away and it's been so cozy to just read these Christmas books as we go as we've been getting into the holiday season and I'm excited to read more of them. I don't know if we will read all of them because we have so many but we have been tackling reading our Christmas books and we will enjoy them through the fall or through Christmas too through December. And then I'm just hanging up this 
cutting board decor piece that I made with some stamps and with my Silhouette Cameo machine. So the gingerbread pillow that you see there with the Santa hat on I actually thrifted in 2019 and that's where the gingerbread theme came from. I haven't always decorated with a theme like this, but since about 2020 I have been decorating with a gingerbread theme and collecting pieces and it's so fun. So this Merry Christmas sign originally picked up to go here, but I'm gonna put it over here. So it is the next day. As you can see, I have changed my outfit and we are tackling some more messes. I could not get this all done in one day with the cleaning and the decorating. So I had decorated the main area and I had swept the night before, but I wanted to go ahead and give it a good vacuum, get anything that I'd missed with the broom and also just get this front entrance way all vacuumed up and deep cleaned. And then I'm going to go ahead and steam mop as well. I do not mop as often as I would like to, but it needed it and also just freshened up the space so that we can enjoy our home clean for a little while while the decor is up. And yes, and as you can see, the table is still quite a mess. It took me a little while to get everything put away properly. Did not film that whole process because I was putting different things here and there. Um, I have a storage area in my son's room for extra decor and the globes went up there for now until we bring them back till after Christmas. So it didn't take you long for the putting the things everywhere, but yeah. So we just like ate around the stuff on the table just last night and we also used the kids trays that they do school with to eat if we needed to, but it was easy to eat on the table while we tackled these messes. And then I'm just going to steam up over here and later this night when I filmed this, I filmed this a little bit ago, but I did tackle decorating the kids play area and the homeschool table for Christmas. So I'll be sharing that in an upcoming video as well. So stay tuned for that. I have a bunch of Christmas cleaning videos coming your way. <music>
on this particular day or time of the day. It was right before my daughter was going to wake up from her nap. The boys were playing and I was racing against the clock to get this table cleaned off finally before she woke up from her nap. So I'm going to go ahead and put the monkey trees away that we have. I have two boxes for them, but I couldn't find one. So I used another box to put away one of the trees. But then I'm going to condense some things and put them off to the side so I can put them away in our Christmas bins. And I actually do end up decorating or did end up decorating my bathroom with some of these pieces. As I was putting them away, I was like, why don't I decorate the bathroom? So I do not know if I'm going to share that with you, but I will definitely have pictures of all of the decor in today's project and more decorations throughout my home. Over on my Instagram, I'll be putting up pictures because I love to share over there too. So if you do not follow me over there, you can find the link to that down in the description box. But see, the table is finally clean and I'm just wiping it down. There was a few pieces from the decor that were on there. I just love when the table is finally clean. Makes it extra cozy. And then I'm almost done. Here is a close-up of all of the decor. I love how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below if you made it this far by putting a Christmas tree emoji. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I just wanted to mention that this area over here, the gel stickers did react with the sun since this was on our sliding glass doors, but something to keep in mind, but I still love how it turned out. And did you notice the Santa silhouette on the Canadian map? I just love this fun feature that I added to keep the Canadian map up. And that is going to finish up today's video. If you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and definitely check out Instagram for more photos and close-ups of the Christmas decor. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello, this is Annalisa from Creative Curious a Learning and Living here on YouTube and in today's video I'm going to be tackling the messes in my kitchen and decorating it for Christmas. I filmed this a little while ago but due to the busyness of the season and all the other videos I was posting this one didn't get to you right away but it's coming to you now and hopefully this will inspire you in the last days as we lead up to Christmas and get closer and give you that motivation to tackle your to-do lists and your last minute things before Christmas. If you are new to my channel, I am a homeschool mom to three. I have a second grader, a kindergartner, and a two year old, and a baby on the way due in March. So grab a coffee, grab your water, sit back and relax, or get up and clean with me and tackle those to do lists before Christmas comes. So here is the state of. Alrighty, so this is the reality of my kitchen. The dishes have piled up and it's not like the dishes are horrible, but the counter is really good. And I have started to collect the things that I want to decorate with. These marshmallow cups are always over on my thing. And then I picked up these off of Amazon to go on top of them this year. And these are from Dollarama this year. And this gingerbread cup 
is from Dollarama, I think last year. This I thrifted this year, so it's just gonna kind of hanging out and floating. It's been over here for a little bit, but I wanna go ahead and wipe this area down. So we put it over here, collected all the pieces here. This lantern, not sure if I'm gonna keep it out, um, but we got that from a wedding this summer. And I also just thrifted this from Value Village. This also came from Value Village. And this I picked up at Winners. I believe it was part of a tray, but it was just the one piece. So I pulled that from my decor. And then I picked two Ray Dunn cups. I do not have any Christmas ones other than Joy. And I had Peace, but that one broke sadly. So I'm gonna do like Hello Joy and do a little arrangement over here. And yeah, we're gonna tackle this. I'm hoping to get these cleaned out so we can restock them. We just haven't got to it with like all the other dishes. And then as you can see, I've already decorated up here. We actually kept the stars up all year. And I just added this wreath. I thrifted this at Value Village this year. So, yeah let's go ahead and tackle these dishes and decorate i also do have some dish towels but i believe i put those away last year so i will be adding to this over the christmas season but i need to tackle this load the dishwasher and wipe this area down and do that and then if i
all the cleaning motivation and decorating I have for you in today's video. Here are some last minute decorations that I added off camera and I hope this inspired you to get your to-do list done. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos coming your way. Merry Christmas to your family from my family. Bye for now. everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Annalisa from creative curious learning and living and in today's video I'm going to give you some cleaning motivation and I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to decorate my kiddos play area in our homeschool area slash living room slash dining room we do it all in our main living room living area and I thought it would be fun to spruce up their area change it up we have a table there if you've been following me here for a while you may have seen our table it's actually changes quite a bit how we set up the kids toys i like to switch things up as our needs change and make it work for us so we have a car table that i made for my oldest when he was two and their Gabby's dollhouse and some little people are on it now and they play with it out here and then underneath we store the toys for that and our 
Michael's lap trays, which we use in our homeschool daily. So I'm so glad that we were able to find a spot for those. So I'm going to make it a little Christmas wonderland. I picked up a few things that I will show you when we are decorating. And I actually have a Value Village a book haul to share with you right now, a mini one that I did not know where to fit in, but there is a Christmas book included and I found some really great deals. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you in this video. And I did go ahead and pick up the Little People Deluxe Christmas Story playset. I have been wanting this for a couple years for my kiddos and it was finally at a sale or on sale or at a price that I was comfortable paying. I wanted to get this one because it has the extra pieces and it lights up and sings and I know my daughter is going to love this. I feel like she's at an age where she's really going to love this and the boys can still love it too. And then with a new baby on the way, this will be cherished in our home for a while. So pick this up this year, so I'm going to set that up there and I will show you all the fun goodies. Some of the goodies from my Dollarama Dollar Tree haul video are going to go over there on their table. I think I mentioned that in the video, what some of those items are for. So we're gonna sh first share with you the books and then I will get to the cleaning and the decorating. And if you are new here, I am a homeschool mom to three, almost four. We have a fourth baby due at the end of March next year. So we are super excited about that. But our kiddos that we are homeschooling right now are, we have a seven-year-old boy, a five-year-old boy and a two-year-old little girl who's just tagging along and doing it. So they are in second grade, kindergarten and two-year-old. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's dive into the books. So first I scored these Bob stories. All of them are here and these were only $5.49 and all of them are there. Perfect condition. These retail for like $23 on Amazon. So super excited to find this one. We did not have this one. Now this one we do have, and I was not sure if we have it. It's so hard to keep track of the ones we have, but it was only $5.99. And again, they retail for $23. So I was excited to find this. Um, I will put it away in case I want both my boys to read it or if something goes wrong with our other books. And then I picked up this one. This is the Kids Can Press Gold Rush Fever, a story of the Klondike. We won't be reusing this for a while, but we do talk about the Gold Rush a little bit in the first couple years through our curriculum. And it says originally it was $15.95 and I only paid $4.49. So it was a really good deal. I've been slowly collecting these Pioneer Kids Can Press ones when I see them. If you go to Value Village, check out the educational section. Like at my Value Village, there's an education section and there's like, sometimes there's textbooks and curriculum and I found this in there. So yes, I need to remember to check that section. Alrighty. So I also got, I wonder why the sun rises and other questions about time and seasons. I thought this was really fun. It was only $2.99. And then because we are from Canada, I picked up this one, Terry Fox, A Story of Hope from Scholastic. So this is just the story of Terry Fox. He had cancer and he ran across Canada to raise money for cancer research. And every year we have the Terry Fox run here to show, to continue his legacy. And then I found this one, the Kids Canadian Bug Book. We have a few of these in our homeschool. We have the Kids Canadian Tree Book and yeah, they're only like $6.95 originally, but I only paid $2.95 for it. So this is just a great resource book with lots of information. And then I picked up a few of Babar books. So this is Babar to the Rescue. So I just love the classic books. This is only $1.49, but I grew up with this show watching it. And so I just picked that up. And then I also picked up Babar's Picnic and that was only $1.49. And then I picked up this big one. I was excited to find this. This is the Noah's Ark and other Bible stories. First look, first look and find. So it's one of the look and find books. My kiddos love this. So he thought it was really, really cool that this was a Bible. Super, super cool. 
different stories. And lastly, here is the Christmas book that I picked up. Oh, and this one was only $5.49 but I feel like it would have been way more. All right, so this one is the Christmas book, A Slide and Find, Who Wears the Hat? So like Santa, you open it up and it's like, what is green, holly, what is red, white, gold? I just thought this would be a really fun book for my toddler and then the boys can read it, can find it. Just like a fun interactive book for everybody and it was in really good condition it asks you questions about the story and that one was only three dollars so that is everything that i wanted to go ahead and share with you i thought it'd be fun to give you a little bit of a mixture of things in this video and i'm going to go ahead and put that christmas book on our Christmas bookshelf as well. And now I'm gonna turn the camera around, clean up a little bit and get to decorating. I'm going to show you a close-up of our homeschool table all decorated with the nativity and our advent book we are using through December and then I have this little nativity set set up here and there is Jesus and Moses I just put them here for fun um, our book does go into depth about the history before leading up to Jesus so those are just there for fun and then that little tree will be a tree where they put little pieces for their advent from the book and yeah, I just love how that nativity area turned out. So now we are decorating the Trofest units in our homeschool. They have moved over here and on top, usually just houses are Michael's pen carousel, which holds everything. I love this. And I'm just gonna give this a wipe down. The Trofest containers usually they just store some activities over here and all of our curriculum and then my kids art bins so I've shared that on my channel before then I'm going to add a few more details I'm going to add some of the pieces that did not end up on the main homeschool table so as you can see I added in the Santa mailbox the letters to Santa and then these gingerbread containers one is on the homeschool table with the little balls for the Christmas tree and then this has some cute erasers that are Christmas themed so that if we need some prizes and some motivation through Christmas and they can pick a cute eraser we've been had these for a little while and we are slowly working through them through the season of Christmas my kids loved getting these last year so I pulled them out again 
and I'm excited that we have this fun little festive container to put them in this year. And it goes with the gingerbread theme throughout the house, if you've been watching my videos. So the last thing that I'm going to be doing in this area is filling this old candy dispenser with some Lego. So I picked up this Lego bag, inexpensive, from Amazon. And we had this old candy dispenser that no longer worked. The electronics didn't work. So what I did is I put some tape over the hole in there. So now the kids can collect Lego from the top like a claw machine. Um, it's like a incentive reward for them. And it needed to be refilled. So I thought I'd keep it out so they can continue to get this reward and collect some more Legos. Their creativity goes over the top with Legos. So this is definitely a must have and a great prize and incentive for them to keep on going. So here's the area all decorated, the erasers, and the Santa box. Simple, but functional, and yes. I'm going to move on to the next spot, which is my children's play area. And I will show you this area one more time. I actually, my kiddos actually cleaned this up tonight, so I don't have to do a lot of cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate, and then I'm going to wipe the red trays. So they have been used so much. There's actually like some cookie crumbs in here that need to be wiped out that are like stuck. And as you can see, my daughter's got crayon on here, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to get that off. And there's some crayon on this one. I actually thrifted this one a few weeks ago they don't I don't think they have this color at Michael so I was like "Ooh, I like this one so and then they just they are so used I just want to go ahead and wipe them down I'm gonna do that after but I'm gonna get everything decorated first and yes okay so I have this bin and these are the gingerbread men from Dollarama and I've been collecting them since like 2020 when I started doing the gingerbread theme. So we have four of them for all, all four of our kiddos and they're just sitting in this bin that I already had. So I'm going to put this over here.
Okay, so now I'm going to tackle cleaning the lap trays from Michael's, get them ship shape again. I loved decorating this space so much, and you might think it's a little bit over the top, or I wasn't even sure how it was going to turn out. But honestly, this has been up for a little while, and my kids have loved it. It's encouraged them to play with this particular toy more in a new and fun way, and they love the Christmas mats. It like centers them when they're playing and when they're watching TV, it just keeps them calmer and just brings something new and refreshing to their space and brings excitement. It's really, really fun to switch out the activities and, and, and rotate the toys. And this was a way for me to rotate their toys and just bring something new and exciting into our home. And I really really loved this they've been loving it and it's just been really fun and joyful and my daughter enjoys the nativity scene and the music and I just I love this so it has been so worth it so I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration to make a difference in your home for your children and bring some joy into your Christmas this holiday season and bring Jesus into your home as well and yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this, cleaning, motivation, and homeschool stuff. I will see you in the next. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found this video inspiring and motivating as you get excited about decorating for Christmas too, and that maybe you were able to get some things on your to-do list done around your home as you start looking for ideas to decorate your home for Christmas. I'm super excited to start decorating for Christmas. I'm going to be switching things up a lot this year. We got a new Christmas tree. So stay tuned for Christmas 2023. And if you are new to my channel, I am a homeschool mom to four. I have an eight year old, a six year old, a three year old, and then a seven month old who you just saw at the beginning of the video. And here on my channel, I share a homeschool journey, cleaning motivation, home decor, sensory bins, and more. So if you like that kind of content, definitely hit the subscribe button. And I'd love to have you join us here on our YouTube channel to inspire you along the way. And definitely like this video. And we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.